Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bartholomew Chidera. Today we are going to talk about how to format the document in Microsoft Word. So many times you have asked yourself, what is this formatting, formatting of a stuff? It's not a big deal. Today I'm going to break it down in a simple way so that you'll be able to use your hand to format your own document whenever you finish typing in Microsoft Word. You don't need to go to CyberCafe or you don't need to call anyone to type or to format your document for you more especially why you don't need people to format your document for you sometimes some documents are confidential you type it by yourself but because you don't know how to format it on your own you don't know how it will look when you print it out you don't know how it's going to look in the presentation so you end up involving someone to come and help you to format it and print it out thereby expressing your information so today i want you to follow this video to the end and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so that you'll be able to get more videos all up, everything about microsoft word and other programs okay all right we have to start now make sure you watch this video to the end so that you understand all the steps and guidelines you need to format your document after typing all right now use your mouse go to your stats bar click on it then you go to that what dialog box you can see the dialog box here then you search your program micro it will display here this microsoft word it will open it's open now the window have opened don't forget that this blank page is known as document window okay now i'm going to show you guys two ways to format your document some people like to format their document before the start typing so why some format their own document after typing then let me first of all use how to format your document before typing now you have opened this window you want to set up your window your document before typing you want to make sure that the page is being set up before you start typing so all you have to do now is this you go to file you go to file click on file then go to print first of all go to the print how it looks go to print then you will see this box this page here is that document window you are about to type you want to arrange it before you start typing what you have to do now is this you will see page setup click on page setup then it will display like this then you go to margins now it's asking you whether you want to leave your document under a portrait mode or landscape this one is landscape why this one is portraits now multiple pages do you want multiple pages or normal page then i use normal page good and now go to paper how your paper the paper you want to use to print it you set your paper here i use letter if you want to use a3 or executive anyone you want to use you use then i use letter here then the width you set up the width of your page you can remove this and put like 8.6 here this one you put 12 depending on the one you like put 12 then you go to layout layout means how it will look once it's been printed then we are in a current new page want to use new column now then I use new page so this is how I set I format my own page now look at the steps then the header and the footer is okay then the top is okay for me now I love my page like this now I have to start and I click ok my page is being arranged so all I have to do now is to go back and start typing okay Maybe you am too fast or you don't understand what I did. Let me just do it again. I opened a Microsoft Word, then I saw the document window. Now I want to format my page before typing, okay? I want to format this page before typing. The steps I have to go is this. I go to the file and I go to print. This is the print now, okay? Now I want to arrange this page, which is the place I will be typing soon. Then I go to page setup. Now I have a margin here, layout, paper, three options here. They have to set this margin. I will set this margin. Maybe I want to type under a landscape mode or portrait. Normal typing is portrait. 
then I use portrait, then I go to paper. Maybe I want to print this this page with uh, maybe let's say I want my width the width of my page to be yeah eight point six or uh, twelve yeah the height twelve. Now this is the normal one I used to use to format my document. Then and I go to layout. This is my layout, how it looks, okay? Okay, now I set it. All I have to do next is to press OK. Now I've set my page, my page I've come out. Then all I have to do is to come back here and start typing, okay? So this is the first step. Let me show you the next step. Maybe you have finished typing your document you want to format it but you don't know how to format it you are trying to find it very difficult to format let me just break it down for you. okay now you have finished typing your document you have you have already typed document and you are confused on how to format it okay now all you have to do is to go out and search for the document and open it for example this is a document that you have typed and saved in your desktop you want to format it but you don't know how to format it you look at the steps on how to do it very simple you open the document which you have typed it's loading to open oh this is the document you have typed you can see it's so messy it's so messed up you cannot be able to print this kind of thing so all you have to do now is to follow these steps in order to format it now you highlight the whole text which you want to format after highlighting it first of all you go and use the font you choose the font you want Normally, I used to use Tahoma to format my own test. I used Tahoma. Then you can see the size. Then you check the size. Normal typing is 11 for me. I use 11. Then I choose 11. So you can see there are some little changes. So you can see the whole test is being, you know, is being together. There is no spacing. There is no paragraph. So all I have to do now is keep on formatting. Then I right click. I right click. After highlighting, I right click. Now I go to paragraph. Then I have some options here in the paragraph. I have index and spacing. And I also have in the other place line and page break. Then I want to make use of index and spacing. Then I go to special. Just watch closely. I go to special. I do first line. I go to line spacing. I do line spacing. Okay. Then my in in the indentation, my indentation, I might maybe I just use 0 0.1, 0 0.1 my indentation, then I now click. Okay, it will now come out like this. So my page is my document is not yet arranged. So there's no problem. All you have to do now is this keep on formatting. Then now go to this place. You can see we have a left alignment, you have center alignment. We have right alignment we have justify so what i have to do now is to use justify to put and make all the margins so that the, the whole margins will be equal and i use this justify and press the whole margin now is equal as you can see my test is nice having a shape so after this i will now ask myself is it getting okay i say yes it's getting better so this is the heading for this test Characteristics of self concept. This is the heading. So I have to differentiate this heading from the text that I already typed. Then I now highlight this particular one. Maybe I bold it. Okay. Maybe I want to increase the fonts. Maybe I can give this one 12. Okay. Then I have to put, I want to put it in the center. You can put it in the right. You can put it in the left here. You can also put it in the center. I want to put it in the center depending on the way you want it. Okay. Now you can see these red symbols under some of the tests like problems and self they are being together for example you can only see these symbols for example you made a mistake in typing you typed it's supposed to type known and you miss this the letter w if you leave it like that and remove your mouse it will have light red showing that you made a mistake so all you have to do is this is either you put back the w or you right click on it and take the normal spelling. I, this is what I did. You miss, you miss a letter here. You're supposed to put W here. Okay, you miss it. You have two options to bring to select normal one. So either you right click and select this one, 
or you put back with by typing then this particular problem here we have a little problem here is you can see the line is showing red under it really means there is no space so all you have to do is right click then you give a space but if if you don't want to right click you know using your ma using your backspace using your shift key in your in your keyboard is it might be able to take you a time you can be able to shift also it's still the same thing but the fastest way is to right click once you right click shift it and you also use it like this before you print you want to make sure that you check all these things it's very very important so that you will not print a wrong document it's very very important you cross check your work you go through your work and see where there is an error then you arranged it on time before printing as you can see i'm arranging it now I'm making it to look where good and look standard you know so that once you print it there will be no error your work will look nice and look smart all right i have succeeded in formatting this document to this level so now i can see that this edge now is like it's it's not it's giving a lot of space i want my you know my paper edge to go up once i print it i don't want it to come down some of documents after you print it you print something it will come down it will not be able to be in a normal shape all you have to do is maybe just put your arrow arrow key arrow here then use a bar space and tap once it will go up right have set i have seen this okay so what i have to do now is this if i go now go to insert i want to select the paper which i want to use to to print this particular document I go to lay, paper page layout, then I go to size. Then I want to select the paper. Some people use letter, some people use many things, you know, to print. But what I want to use to print here is A4. Then I now select A4. Okay. Now I've selected A4. The, the paper size I want to print now I have set. All I have to do now is to just go to file to preview what I want to print. Okay. And I go to sign click on print this is my page now okay then I go to this zoom slider put it in a hundred this is what I wanted to print I seen it it's been nice now it's nice and looking good to print it's been safe to print so after setting it like that I have no other thing to do all I have to do is what is to click on print it will now print your document will come out very smart and clear and looking so good so these are the steps you need to have in order to format your type document. Alright, once, right, once you have gotten these steps, I believe that you can now be able to type your own document on your own without anybody's you know, help in order to help you to format your document. So I just want you to watch this video to the end so that you will not miss anything. And make sure you subscribe after watching. Alright, thank you.